Lord, I thank you for giving me and all those with me in the Ark another day of life. My family and I moved into the Ark a week ago, as God commanded. But today is the seventh day. Early this morning, we walked up the ramp of the Ark for the very last time. All week, animals have been coming to us. But today I was filled with a terrible feeling of grief and awe and dread, as the last two tiny creatures climbed aboard, for I knew that the end was very near, that the day of destruction was upon us. Yes, today is the seventh day, the day God promised that he would destroy the earth and every living creature upon it. I believed God's word. Even now, as I write, the ark shakes violently with the earthquakes. And the rain, it is not pattering or even pounding against the roof of the ark as I imagined. No, there is a steady, roaring sound. When it first began, it seemed as though the roof would collapse upon us. The noise of the deluge is deafening, terrifying. It is difficult, even in this place of safety, not to panic. Even here in the ark, even here in this shelter of God, that we must live by faith and not be afraid. Forty days and forty nights are finished. The rain has ceased. There is peace on the earth. Outside the ark, all is quiet. There is not one sound, not one whisper, not one breath. It is finished, according to the word of the Lord. The silence is overwhelming. Inside the ark, I listen. I hear only a few sounds. A cricket chirping in the corner of my room. A dog barking somewhere on a lower deck. People talking quietly in the loft above me. Except in this place, in the ark, the sounds of life have ceased upon the earth. In heaven, the angels glorify God. But here on earth, there is only one place left where one can hear the sounds of God's praises. It is here in the ark.